So I hope all translation is done if needed. Which, which verse will be read? We continue verse 59 from yesterday. Oh, nice. And uh, Kishori will continue to read. And if anybody would like to give a summary from yesterday, then it would maybe be nice for those who didn't hear it yesterday. And uh, where should we continue? I think maybe Kishorji, we start again with the with the three uh, three crowns prema. Yeah, like this from its great ecstasy or something. I will repeat the verse and then go to the three three grounds of prema. Yes. And then whoever feels to make a little summary of yesterday would be nice after this. So we started the verse 59 from Srila Kusumanjali. Uh, sorry, the trans German translation isn't said. Please put Sudevi. In. Yes. Okay. Will Rupa Manjari lead you on the path with Lalita and Vishaka on your two sides? your friends all around you and me holding your brittle waist from behind. Will Rupa Manjari lead you on the path with Lalita and Vishaka on your two sides, your friends all around you, and me holding your brittle waist from behind. The nature of Prema is that it just wants to make Krishna happy. Sri Jiva Goswami has described three grounds to Prema. First, the soul of Priti is the desire to make Krishna happy or to be favorable to his happiness. I want to stop here, maybe to recollect yesterday's meditations and help each other how to understand what is the soul of pretty. And pretty and prema are the two words that are equal to each other. So the soul of Prema or the soul <coughs> Primateradika also in our case is the desire to make Krishna happy. So from my understanding the soul of our Seva is to make our Ishta Devi happy. So we try to make Srimateradika happy to help her or to assist her, assist is the better word, to make her beloved happy or to be favorable to his happiness. Yeah. 
the soul of Priti is the desire to make Krishna happy or to be favorable to his happiness. The second point, the arising of different desires, <laughs> the arising of different desires in the lover for the sake of Krishna's happiness. And the third point, when Krishna is happy, the lover is happy. The first of these is the constitutional hallmark, Svarup Lakshan of Prema. And the other two are the marginal hallmarks, Tatashta Lakshan, the extraordinary constitutional position of Prema is the exclusive aim to make its object, Sri Krishna, happy. The desires arise in the heart of the loving devotee to make Krishna happy with different devotional services that please him and that help the devotee to attain him. The awareness that Krishna is happy gives the devotee boundless bliss. Although he does not have his desires for personal <coughs> happiness fulfilled. So good if what we discussed or what we churned yesterday, it was a very beautiful churning and all the devotees who were there could feel this deep vibration of these three points to attain, uh, you know, access or to assist Srimati Radhika in her service to Krishna. Although Baba is explaining it, uh, Tarun Baba, he's also here, I saw him, Tarun Baba. Are you there to help us? Baba ki. Jai. Radhe, Radhe. <coughs> Jai Gurudev. Jai everyone. Dandavats. Dandavats. Wow. So Tarun Baba, we were joining this verse yesterday and it was very beautiful. First of all, uh, Goranga Sundara, he's hiding again. No, he's there also was explaining to us in the beginning, it is uh, explained that Smaran dreams and visions of Raghunath are like that of that quality that he always feels close to Swamini. <coughs> and so Goranga Sundara explained that in Smaran means we are now coming here looking at this from Sadaka Deha. Because in our physical bodies trying to perfect you know, our service as sadakas, we do smaran, we remember the leelas, we remember our mantras, our Gurudev, our Guru Manjari. According to our level yeah. of smaran, we go yes. deeper Yes, and we go I into had, deeper meditations. I had yesterday one or the, the day before, uh, my, my god brothers, uh, many disciples of Anandaras Babaji, they formed the WhatsApp group. I'm sometimes I, I look there and but it's it's I'm to I'm not inspired to go there all the time. It's like Viber, but it's like on WhatsApp and one devotee he asked a question and he asked what what do you mean by smaranam and what is the difference between doing proper smaranam and pure speculation? So he has this problem that 
you know, you can sit down and you can meditate, and but most of it is pure speculation. So he was asking, what is the difference between proper remembering and proper uh, meditating and speculation? So I, I answered <clears throat> actually that proper meditation means, like you said now nicely, Suniti, that it, it depends on the adhikar. It depends on the capacity of the devotee, on the development of your bhakti, on your bath. So I can speak only for myself. For myself, the best way to do smaran and to do meditation means for me personally, I read the verse and I read the verse from Baba and I meditate on that, what Baba is saying in that verse. So I close my eyes and I imagine to be there. So for me, remembering means repeating in my mind what I heard from the lotus mouth of my Gurudev, from Sonsadu Maharaj, or from Narayan Maharaj, or from Prabhupada, from everyone's Guru. Here we now read Baba's book. So really remembering depends how much we hear and how much we read. And like you said, the more we advance, the more the mirror of the mind becomes clean. Cheta Tarpana Marjanam, the more these Leelas will be revealed to us. And at one point, it's not anymore at the endeavor of the sadaka, but at one point when we advance, these uh, revelations, they will come to us. So I am far away from that. So I, I read the verse and I meditate on that, what, my, what I read. And this is a very beautiful method. I do it every morning. Everyone can do it. You can read the verse and the explanation from Baba. In some verses, there are two, three, four lilas which we can recollect with our mind. And this helps very much. I take the mala and I chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. But in my mind, I meditate on that, which is in the, in the, in the Leela, which Baba was describing. So this is the difference. You can sit down and you can imagine yourself on Radha Kund and imagine the pastimes. But this is actually not Pariva. This is not Sampradaya. Sampradaya means you do that, what your line is doing and what your guru is doing. So that... You are always an, in anukatya, in guidance. And that is, for me, the best medicine. I listen and I read and then I meditate. Otherwise, there is always the capacity in my low stage that I speculate and I don't want to speculate. So anukatya for me is very important. And I, honestly speaking, I just spoke with Gurdjieff this morning. We have everything there, Radha Rasa Sutta Nidhi and Vilapakusa Manchali. If you want to meditate seriously, really honestly, so many lilas are in these 500 verses or 400 something verses. I mean, could have read them every day for years now. And the, the lilas are always and ever fresh. So there is no shortage and no limit to close the eyes and to just read the paragraph. When Radhika is making a flower bed for Krishna, when they are bathing in Radhakund, I can go on and on. You get the drift. So everyone can understand that the perfect meditation is in the beginning, that we hear what Baba and Gurudev, our Gurudev is saying. And those of you who are advanced, they already know that at one point, these Leelas, they come spontaneously. But this is not cheap. It will only come if we really, really are fixed in our study path. And this is my desire that at one point we will sit there and they will hit us on the head, you know, and they will come. This is actually what it is desired. Jai, Jai Radhi. This is how I do it. It's my stage. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it's open, Gurudev. But your voice is not so loud. You have a mic? Make a loud Yeah. Oh, <laughs> side. Yeah, now yes. it's better, Gurudev. Yes. Yesterday. Uh, can I say? Sure. What is the meaning of full mark? Hallmark, yeah. What is the meaning of hallmark? Mm. There's one sentence about the hallmark. Full mark. Full mark. Is a stamping. When the government checks 
y de peor gol. That is hallmark. When the gold is the current, which current is the gold? This mm, ah, of the pureness of the gold. Yeah, yeah. That is hallmark. Pureness <laughs> of our. Huh? Yeah. Say, Baba. Hallmark, in you, if you translate it, it means actually the sign of the foundation, the, the symptom, and the, the real thing of it, you know, like like the essence and like the Kennzeichen. In German, it means Kennzeichen. It means sign of it, you know, that, that is what, what... Like a certificate. Yeah, what? like you said, Gurudev, like a certificate, like Gurudev explained so nicely. The word is with the is the pure gold is the pure gold and the mixed gold is also gold but you cannot do whole mark to that mm -hmm. baba say you have to become like a gold pure gold with whole mark in your soul. Just to see the pretty soul. The soul of pretty is the soul desire. Of soul of pretty. Soul, like uh, our, our existence is the soul. If soul is not there, my existence is not there. The soul has a form to, to realize his soul. This form is Sarup, whole mark. How much purity come to me in my Sarup, I see the soul means to Radha. And then I see the pretty of Radhika, of with Krishna, love of Krishna, of the Mysore. So you see how pretty is here. The soul has a form that is pure. It's a prakriti deha, not my pursa deha. And this so uh, uh, this is spiritual body, whole mark has uh, one soul that is named Radha, Arpriti, with Krishna. Priti means always who is in loving, no other job. That means we see our Ishtadevi, who is always how she is loving to his lover, Krishna. How much purity come by certified, certified by my Gurudev, mercy, how much we are in, in that sadhu. How beautiful teaching. I never see this line. So deep subject. Baba, <clears throat> Baba also many, I think several times, my Gurudev also used that word, <clears throat> like for example, Raghunath Das Goswami's dedication and seriousness is the hallmark of bhakti, you know. This is like what we want to attain, like the hallmark, like, like you have a car. Rolls Royce and Bentley are the hallmark of, of cars, for example. And Raghunath Das Goswami, he was the hallmark of, of seriousness, renunciation, dedication. So these are these shining lights, you know, this really where we can look upon, you know. 
Yeah, so we can understand that many things looks like gold, but that to prove is a special idea how much we are taking part of the Leela. And this is only possible by uh, Owen Swarup. We cannot take part in this by uh, material body, material uh, ideas. And this is for me also, we, we read here to make Krishna happy, but on, other, on the other side, we can understand that Krishna is always happy. But we have no part on this. It's even like Radhika. She is also happy without us. But because this happiness is always expanding, and under all circumstances, it's never uh, uh, stable, it, it's expanding. We can take part of it. And then we can see that this real gold, because we are uh, take part of this happiness and we can recognize this happiness. This is then our part of this. So this happiness is increasing. It's already there, Krishna, Radha, they are happy, but we can take a part of this happiness. In we, can also see, we can also see that <clears throat> the selflessness of the, of the mantras is the hallmark, is our hallmark. Right. So selflessness yeah. and this, no, no, uh, no uh, gratification for their own senses. So mantra bath actually, for us, it's the hallmark of Bhakti because they have the most yeah. selflessness. So this is beautiful to, to remember. Yeah, yeah, true. And uh, these feelings we get when we take part in this, this is the real gold. It's not out, outside shining like uh, some uh, plastic <coughs> gems. They are also <coughs> shining. They looks like this. But there is no bath, there is no feeling, no sharing. And this comes by the Swarup, when we really take part of this. And this is an inner uh, wert. What has the wert? Value. value. Uh, inner value. This is, you, you will feel it. We can feel it. There is nothing to show. It's a feeling inside. Real gold, Baba. <laughs> It is also written here that the awareness that Krishna is happy gives the devotee boundless bliss. Wow. Although he does not have his desires for personal happiness fulfilled. 
So here, here is an interesting question. How do we know that Krishna, Krishna is happy? How do we know that? We can only know that because Yasha Prasado Bhagavad Prasado, Yasha Prasado Nakatikutopi. You can only know that when Guru is happy, Radha and Krishna are happy. So this is our thermometer. If we have this spiritual fever or we don't have it. So to, to please the spiritual master, when the spiritual master is pleased, Radha and Krishna are also pleased. So this is for me always a nice, nice recipe, you know, that we know how to please Radha and Krishna is only there if we please Gurudev. If we don't please Gurudev, how can Radha and Krishna be happy? And how do we please Gurudev? By doing what he told us. And Baba is saying, and Gurudev is saying, we should always cultivate our stai bhav. If we don't have Siddha Pranali, we should desire for Siddha Pranali. If we don't have Diksha, we should desire for Diksha. And we have, and if we have all that, we should really be proud and happy and go in that way and go deep into that. And that makes Gurudev happy and you will feel it. I feel it if I'm not making Baba happy, if I'm spaced out. I feel that. So if you make your Gurudev happy, you can rest assured. Radha and Krishna are happy too. Yes. So nice, Tarun Baba. I think maybe for for translators would be nice if you could speak a little bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we <I will> try. <laughs> sorry. Yes. Thank you. Right. Yes, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> the happiness of the abode of love is the happiness of the object of that love. The happiness of the abode of love is the happiness of the object of that love. <laughs> So it means we have to we have to please Swamini, then automatically everything will be happy. This is not a relationship of desire for personal happiness. It is one of causeless love. The reservoir of love becomes happy when the object of love is happy. This was a quote from Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila 4. Yes, the reservoir of love is Srimati Radhika, as we have heard so many times. She is a rasa sara, the, the container, the all of love is she. She is personification of Krishna's heart, of Krishna's love. And he is the object. And he is the object. And Srimati Radhika is happy. Yeah. Krishna is happy. And our mood in this is... We are the mandris. We are happy when Shimati Radhika is happy. So this can also be turned around. You can also say Radhika is the reservoir, uh, Krishna is the reservoir of happiness for us, and the object is Radhika, lotus feet of Radhika. So the both in our mandri, our, sadhana, our object is no. slower. Okay. So this can, the, we can also see. Deep subjects, yeah. We can also see it from a different perspective. If we see that Krishna is Rasa Vaisar, he is the op he is the reservoir of love. So he can only be made happy if we please the object of love. For us, Mantra is Radhika <clears throat> is the object that we want to make happy. But reservoir, Baba. When we see uh, when we see Radha Kund, yeah, it's both possible. Uh, is, uh, Radha Kund is is uh, always filling Shama Kund. Yes. Shama Kund never fills Radha Kund. This is no. never, it's always going no, one no, side. No. Radhika yeah. is the reservoir. 
Yeah, yeah, but hundred percent. Look at it from a different perspective. Yeah, I understand. This, the, it's not, it's not that I, I say, of course, the Radhika is the reservoir of pleasure. But for us, our object is to please Swamini. That is That's the true. object. Can Can I just say something, Radhe? Please. Rather, rather, happy new year, first of all. Oh my God, hey. you've been hiding. Go be no, happy no, no, no. new year, go be happy nice. new year. Um, I just uh, really was uh, stunned by this. Um, what we were just listening that how can this, how can the soul please Krishna? How can we make Krishna happy? Like Tarun just beautifully said it that actually, if we make Swamini happy, if we serve Swamini, then automatically Krishna will be happy. And then I was thinking why he will be happy. The reason why he will be happy is because he will feel our exclusive loyalty to her. That will make him happy when he sees that the manjari are totally fixed on, 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 on Swamini and serving her. That will make him happy. Then he will be really pleased with the soul. Of course. Right? And I was yeah. just, yes, yesterday I was just reading in a verse, or was it today? I don't know. Um, in Radha Rasa Sudhanidi, there it's saying that the manjaris take relish when they see Krishna begging in front of Radha, who is in Man, the moment the manjaris see that Swamini is superior, that her mood is superior to that of Krishna, and Krishna becomes the beggar of love, that moment they're pleased to see him. So they're not too pleased to see him as Rasik Shaker or, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the uh, container of Rasa, yeah. They're pleased to see him when he's on his knees, folded hands, asking for forgiveness to Swamini when he's late for the Kunja, or he's begging the Manjaris, Rupa Manjir, Tusi, to help him, you know, to bring Radhika, uh, cool her down, her peak. Then the Manjaris are pleased to see him. So I was just feeling like this, this kind of... Uh, fills into what we were just listening and sharing. Thank you. Wonderful. Also, Gopinath, wonderful. Also, it is that Krishna is even more pleased. There is in Vrindavan Mahimamrita and otherwise, there is said that uh, sometimes Krishna wants to arrange to have pastimes with the mantras and to have loving pastimes with the mantras, but the mantras never, in, even in their dreams, never desire to have personal association with Krishna. And actually, he he may frown upon that, but actually in his heart, he is very happy about, like you said, the loyalty the mantras have to Swamini, that they, that they, they would never want to go. They will say to him, no, we will never go with you in a lonely kuncha. We are only happy when you are together with Radhika. So this, this feeling, he is pleasing him much more than if the manjari would say, yes, I will go with you. This is, this is actually the, the, the superiority and the beauty of Manjari Bhav, that we know all this. How can we know all this without, without the great souls like Baba and Gurudev? We, we could sit here and talk about many things. But this, that we would say, well, how can the Maya Manjaris be so stupid? Why are not they going with Krishna? You know, why, are the, why, why they reject and they say no? Because they are so loyal to Swamini, that she is, she is not even shy before them. And this is what Raghunath Goswami is saying. This is the superiority of the Manjaris, that Krishna is even more happy when they reject him than because of the loyalty to Swamini. This is beautiful. And this we have to fix in the Sadakadeya now. This is uh, uh, this is really a, a, a amazing point to fix our stai bath in this that we are are uh, really take part of it. Not we what we reading is actually the experience of others, right? This is not actually our experience, even not. This is a, uh, an, even an explanation of your Baba, Jiva of Jiva Goswami or Rupa Goswami's experience described in these books. And uh, we have to decide which part 
we will take in this. And because of this, we can say Gurudev is uh, uh, taking us and giving us this, this mood in the heart. And But we have to decide, are we really fixed in it? And then we can take part of this. Uh, I mean, our goal is actually really to see that what is Raghunath or Rupa seeing and uh, experience this also in our life. And this, what we now do is a preparation to come to understand these things. But actually the mood has to come in our heart as a blessing. Like in Raghunath's example, he is getting these visions. And this is what we are praying for, really, to get also a small vision in this and taking part of this happiness of Radha and Krishna. Because if we come close to this, we can, um, if we are close to our Gurudev, yeah. he is, he is, um, he is giving this bath from his heart. So we can, we get it by his mercy. And in the same way, it works when we are really in this, we get it when Radha and Krishna, when we get this experience, when they are together, maybe by our helps. And then it becomes a personal, um, what to say, experience. Um, this is what we are trying to be become, because this, what we read, is only an example. Right, Baba? Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes, once Gauda Sunda said we are second-hand devotees, or maybe third or fourth. We try to follow those who are yeah. the real Rajabasis, who are the real Manjaris yes. and Dasis, and that is our... Um, yeah, and you can see, you, you can see in material life, they do it sometimes also, but in material life, it's, it's said, oh, you are just a copycat, oh, you're just copying, you're copying. But actually, in spiritual life, this is a, a very, very good quality. This is the highest quality. The more we adhere and the more we're following the footsteps of the Mahachan, the higher our, our quality of Bhajan will be. It's not the other way around. There is nothing, there is nothing to invent. There is nothing to create because we are like, like in the material world, they try to do inductive science. They go from point A and they want to go up and up and up. But actually spiritual life is deduction. It comes from above and it goes into our heart. This is the actual spiritual process. It's not inquiry. We can inquire the main basic questions but actually spiritual life is deduction it comes from it comes from above so samsaradavananalita loga the clouds are raining upon us we are not trying to get to the clouds the clouds are coming down to us this is guru kripa you see this is the mercy of guru that these clouds are coming down to us we cannot go to the clouds how can we go to the clouds <laughs> and this is and this is actually what is about this whole thing. This is the deduction, the imitation. And the following is a high quality. It is our high quality. It is not fake. It is not cheap. That is actually the highest quality because our mind, he doesn't want that. He wants to be the creator. He wants to be the inventor. He wants to Controller. be the speculator. And this is not at all. This I when I fall when I first met Narayan Maharaj and and the Raganuka devotees, and then Ananda Das Babaji, my Gurudev, I realized you have to take your hands and you have to hang on to their dhoti or their gamsha or kurta, and you have to follow them no matter what. And this is actually a high quality. This is no, not a cheap thing. Yes. We're trying to get a job, for example, right? But we have to tell them what is our expertise and ed education. If we, uh, if we change that every day, we say, so today I, I'm an electrician and I ask for a job as an electrician, but tomorrow I say, oh no, I'm a mechanic. Uh, I like to get a, a job for a mechanic. So then 
this company don't know which job I already like or what is my uh, profession. And it is in a spiritual way, it is similar. As long as I don't know who I really am, what is my profession? I'm a cowherd boy. I'm a, a, some kind of, of a Darcy, but I don't know really what, what I really like. As long as I not fix this, then I will not get this job, even in the spiritual world. So I have to make clear for myself and with the help of my Gurudev who I am and as, as who I like to do my seva. And this is in our point, it's clear. We, have, uh, we are Manjari and we ask for this job. Uh, but we have to be very uh, uh, strict uh, and, and um, gierig, what says gier? Greedy. And greedy. Eager. Eager to get this job because maybe there are others also uh, qualified for this job. And uh, so it will take time that we get it. But as more eager and greedy we are, as faster, I think, we will get the job. Right? You see, in the, in the material world, the good <laughs> people, the humble people, they know. There is this one book we read years before. It's called The Seven Habits of Successful People, for example. They know. They know that actually following, following those who have achieved the higher a higher goal is actually recommendable. Humble people, yeah. they know this. So in spiritual life, this is actually our way. We want to know the habits of our yeah. Mahachans. And this is what actually means Guru Mukha Padma Vakya. So these, these, all these instructions, they have to get, they have to be, get one with our heart. They have to be inside our heart so that we yeah. can follow Rupa, Raghunath, Pate, Aoi, Kuti. So we can, those two uh, have come for the deliverance of us all. So this is actually what, what Raganuga Bhakti means. We have to follow their example and we have to catch on to their instructions. And that, that is best presented by Sadhguru. This is always, it boils down. You follow your Gurudev and all will be revealed in your heart. You have to know yourself. And this is Guru Kripa that you have this Stai Bhav. He is giving you that. Who else? That's it. Vamanichi makes blissful Krishna. It's, too, it's not loud enough. Rade? It's better. Yeah, it's Swaminiji makes blissful Krishna experience his bliss. <laughs> there are only very few people who want to make him happy. Outside of Braja. Everyone seeks personal happiness. All Sh Kishori, can, Kishori, can you read again this line? The first uh, one with blissful makes blissful. Can you read mm. this again? This is beautiful. Swaminiji makes blissful Krishna experience his own bliss. Why? This is a very deep point why this is happening. Because she is Ladini Shakti. She is the personification of his own bliss. Only she can make him. He is already, he is already blissful. He is always blissful. He doesn't need any bliss. But her, yeah. her function is Ladini Shakti. She is the personification of his inner bliss. So only really she can make him very happy. So this little sentence... You can give a class for, you know, it's so deep. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so he has the, actually the potency for, for this bliss. But to experience this, he needs her, right? He's always, he's always happy. But 
The point here is that only she can activate and can deliver this most intense bliss because she is Ladini Shakti and Bhakti is coming from Ladini Shakti. So this also means for us, the more we take shelter at Swamini who can make already blissful Krishna more blissful. So this is again the hallmark of Manjari Bhav. I see Gora Sundara Baba wants to say something. Please share Gora Sundara. If you wanted to say something. Turanga Sundara. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Radhe Radhe, Taranji, you inspired me really so much <clears throat> because this sentence is the key point of everything. And in this sentence, uh, in very short ways, explain what Baba mentioned before about three grounds of the prema. Uh, yep. Just a second, because my battery is going. Just one second, please. Swami. I felt, yeah. I felt the same way, Baba. <laughs> yeah. So, Krishna is actually a embodiment of rasa. He is rasa. His nature is rasa, taste. So, imid akila rasamrita murti or rasovaisaha. So, it means that he is the object of relishing of others. Like Baba, Tarun Babaji said, he said, he is happy inside of him and he is rasa ocean of rasa and everyone is attracted to him to relish him in different moods in different relationship but what he makes him rasik that's Hladini shakti inside of him and this is radhika she makes him rasik that he can relish even more in my old version of vilapa kusumanjali the, this sentence is written, Swaminiji makes blissful Krishna experience even more bliss. Even more bliss, it means that he is relishing the love. And he is becoming, in one moment, he is becoming Ashrai. He is becoming reservoir of love. and Goranga appears, and so on and so on. But the point is that Radhika is the key point, who is teaching him how to love, to give him feelings more intense than he can experience only when he is rasa. But when he becomes rasik, subordinate to her love, he experiences even more and more and more bliss. So it means that Hladini Shakti is going, let's say going, it's not like this, but he's going in his heart, but Hladini Shakti is going in the heart of devotee. Yes. In the form of Priti, soul of Priti. And when Hladini Shakti goes in the heart of devotee, he is starting to realize his spiritual form, his spiritual identity. And immediately he is ready to offer selfless service for Radhika's or Krishna's or Ishtadev's final ultimate ha happiness. Wonderful. So it means actually that, like Naran Maharaj said, he is <coughs> zero. Alone, he is zero. <laughs> but with love inside him, which is not separate from him also, he is becoming Rasik Shekhar. And I remember Jiva Goswami gave one very nice example. I forgot where, where I read it or, or heard it. He said, one example about flute player. He didn't say Krishna, but flute player. Flute player can produce the sound by his own endeavor, by whistling with mouth. Isn't it? 
like a person. But when he put the flute, then his producing the sound, whistling, becomes so melodious, so attractive because of the flute and giving him more pleasure and giving the more pleasure to others who are looking. So the essence is who is giving the most pleasure to Krishna, to devotees, and this is our beloved Shiradika. And we are so fortunate that we have such opportunity to try to become her maid servants, because in that way we will become her shadows, instrument of Radhika's love, and in that way, automatically we will satisfy this fellow, this flute player. But the Fladini Shakti gives everything to him, to devotee, and also she is most happy because her nature is to give. Krishna's nature is to receive, to rasa. But when she is giving to him, she, he is becoming rasik. So, uh, Baba is mentioning somewhere in this vilapa, Radhi, Prema makes Krishna to dance. <laughs> 51. 51, all right, thank you. <laughs> Prema makes Krishna to dance, then makes devotee to dance by entering in his heart like Priti and becoming soul of Priti. Prema is dancing because she is so happy with this <laughs> seva and activity, and all three of them are dancing in the one place. Nivriti Nikunja. So that's the thank you, Tarunji. Also, you, I want to add for because this. my <laughs> brother, my brother Gorasundara from Germany, he inspired me with this word potency. You know that what you said now, Gor Gorasundara, is that this this is this is miracle which is happening that actually bhakti as Ladini and Samvit, bhakti enters into our hearts. So Jiva Goswami, he writes that actually this potency, like I was inspired by the word potency, the potency is in the Jiva. So we are, we are the living entities, we are the marginal, we are the Tatashta Shakti, we have always the possibility, we are in between. But in our hearts, there is the potency to receive that Bhakti. To receive that combination of Ladini Shakti, to be happy and Samvit, to know who I am and who I want to become. So our hearts, Jiva Goswami is uh, comparing our heart to a fertile field where you put the seeds of plants. So the field, when the farmer goes out and he wants to plant, oh. for example, wheat, or flowers, so the, the soil, the soil already has the potency that's to grow, to grow this, and the, the potency is already there in the jiva, and then comes this seed, this bhakti lata bija is coming into our hearts, so the potency is in our heart, so our job, our job is it to make this heart a fertile ground, and to cultivate the heart, in humility and eagerness, that this is not going out. So that this ne nectar juice from this glass, the glass cannot have any holes. And Gurudev one time said, this container is made of love and humility. So when this Vladini Shakti is coming into our hearts, our hearts should have the capacity to keep it in. And the more we do nonsense and the more we do things not conducive, to bhakti, the more we will not be able to keep it inside. It is always there. But the less we have the capacity to keep it in our heart, the less we will feel it. So therefore, we should be always, all Bandomui, Savadanaman, we should always be very careful in this matter that it stays in our heart. Uh -huh. That this Ladini Shakti and Radhika, the prayer should be. O ocean of compassion, be merciful unto me. This is the only prayer we have to Swamni, that she will be 
merciful to us. Otherwise, we cannot make any step. And I just want to say I'm so happy to see Kanai Baba sitting there in Vrindavan. Jai Ho, it's so nice to see you, brother. Jai Ho. <laughs> Uh, maybe sometimes devotees can think that this is a very high subject and that's easy to understand but uh, we have to accept one thing through the words of our acharyas accept simply with the faith that prema although is embodiment of radhika is a prema, she is Mahabhava, but the different stages of Mahabhava are going, let's say, like down, down, down. It's not like this, but for example, and prema penetrate also like a rays on the stage of Bhava. Then she is present in the stage of Ashakti. She is present in the stage of Ruchi. Nishta, Bhajan Kriya, Sadhu Sangha, and ultimately to the Shraddha. So we are always in connection with the Prema. Our faith, which brings in our hearts, is the symptom of Prema existence in very slight, maybe unvisible form. But prema is pervading all stages of bhakti and helps devotee to go upper and upper and upper. So we are give you, alone without prema. I give you one more even. I give, I give you even one more because many, many times people are saying this. Oh, this is such a high subject matter. We cannot talk about this. We have to stand, blah, blah, blah. But actually, I give you even one more. In Madhurya Kadampini, Vishwana Chakravati Thakur is saying exactly what you are saying now. He says that actually Prema is coming down very, very early. It's not coming when we are at Ashakti, when we are at Bhav. The rays, it's like sunshine. The rays of Prema are already coming into our hearts. And now this is a very important point. We cannot make the heart pure by our own endeavor. But this race coming from Prema will clean if we do proper sadhana, of course, and we follow good. So these rays of Prema, this crystal, crystal clear rays of Prema, they enter into our heart and then the heart is becoming more and more clean. It is not the other way around. It is not that Prema will only come when the heart is fully purified. It is not possible. It comes already. It, Baba is saying, it is a gerundium in German. I am going. It is happening. It is, a, it, is a, it is in the presence. So Prema is entering the heart of the Jiva by doing sadhana. And then these unwanted things, they will all go out. But it depends on how much we are fixed and how much we are doing and how eager we are. But it is not uh -huh. like we can, we can purify our hearts and, and, and then things will happen. This is not, this is not the way. And what, and then, uh, Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur and Baba are explaining how this is happening. What is the best way to make this go out, to make all the contamination? And how can we receive even more prema into our heart is by Vikriti Tam, this verse in the tenth canto, listening about the pastimes of Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan in Dani Kunchas. Exactly what are we doing the whole day when we are together? This is the only means, only means to drive away all unwanted desires. And the more we do this, the more rays of prema will be into our will come into our hearts. This is a very, very important matter. I always think about this because at my stage I always try to get more and more rays into our heart but we, if if i don't do if i don't do it it will not happen so we have to listen to every day we have to read at least one two verses and 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 meditate about them this is so helpful and then this can happen it will happen you will see that govinda priya and i were talking govinda priya love this uh vilapakusamanjali 40 54 verse so much she said 
to make the material world alien. It makes it, and the more you go into, into spiritual life, you feel you don't belong to this, to this world. You know, it's not like you hate it. This is wrong also to hate the world. This is very wrong, but to feel that this is not natural. So for the soul, this world is totally not natural. So we have to alienate us from this world by, by trying. <laughs> To, to go so much into bhajan every day, at least as much as possible. And always with the hope that actually the prema will do the work. We cannot, what is this verse called? Sadhu, Krishna Nitya Das, no endeavor of the, of the spiritual entity, Sumiti. What is this called? No. Ah, yes. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem. Nitya yes. Siddha Krishna Prem. That's Dada, the one. Dada, Dada, Dada. The Prem the is already. Yes. Yes. And then the last, the last sentence means we cannot do this by our own endeavor. We can only do this when we when we do Shravan and Kirtana. This is the actually it's Kripa which which is coming. We describe we describe now the the sea the the uh, and the fishes right. For example, what we are doing when we describe this prema, we are describing uh, the sea and the fishes, but actually we are a fish in the sea, we, but we cannot see us there. Because when we speak about this, uh, when, when the heart is pure, this idea of the spiritual world is coming from the spiritual world. And this is what they give us an example here in these books, this is a ray of this prema, what you explained, Taru. This, we are swimming in the prema, but we do, do not recognize it. Uh, without this uh, light of these books, we cannot imagine even this spiritual world. And then by practicing our devotional praxis, we are cleaning our hearts by giving up the false ego and accepting us as a manjari. Then automatically our heart and mind becomes uh, clean and we are really recognized that we are actually swimming in the sea, in the prema. When we, now we are together here in this big group, we are maybe 100 or more than 100 people here. And this is only happened by this mercy of those who are in the prema. So all we speak about is a light, light from this beautiful souls who let us take part of this. So we are in this now, just now. Yes, Gora brings us back into the presence, and <laughs> that's also nice. We are swimming in the sea, not only describing. There is, I found, I found the translation for this beautiful verse. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem, Satya Kabu Naya, Shravanadi Shuta Chitte Karara Sutai. Krishna Prema is an eternally established reality. It is not brought about by sadhana. It automatically manifests itself in the heart, purified by the performance of the various limbs of bhakti, such as shravana, kirtana, and so on. This is oh. translated by Narayan Maharaj. Uh, this is a very beautiful translation. So it is not brought about by any sadhana. It automatically manifests in the heart by mercy, by a purified heart, such as shravana, kirtana, and so on, by those who have this Krishna Prema. This is a very important point. It is coming down from those who already have it. This is very wonderful. Mm. Yes. It comes from those who have it eternally. Yes. I love in this our translation case, it's, from Narayan Maharaj. It's beautiful. In our case, it's really, it's, it's uh, um, in my case, it's, it's Jesus and uh, the next one is Mahaprabhu. They brought it they are eternal liberate souls who, who, who are the treasure of this and they bring it in this world and we can take yes. part of it. They empowered 
only Mahaprabhu empowered all his associates with this bath, with different bath. And we actually, we got it from there. We are in the, in the wave, in the, in the strahlen, what heißt das? In the race. In the race. We are inside. We are not outside. We are inside the race of Mahaprabhu by the mercy of our gurus. Mm. Because they are the shining stars from this energy. Do we continue to read a little bit? Otherwise, yes, I, mean, yes. I enjoy it. But yes, maybe please. others want to listen more. Please. <laughs> Be good if you like to add something. No, oh, no, I'm listening. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> there are only very few people who want to make Krishna happy. Wow. Outside of Raja, everyone seeks personal happiness. <coughs> All the endeavors of the Bracha Sundaris are meant to make Krishna happy. <laughs> And the greatest of them is Radharani. Shri Krishna himself says, quote from Chaitanya Charitamrita, all the, th all the three worlds are delighted by me. But is there any person who can delight me? <laughs> Only a person delight? who is a hundred times more qualified than me can delight my mind. It is impossible for anyone in this world to be more qualified than me. I only experience that in Radha. End of quote. Although there are many loving devotees in Braja, Krishna became very eager to fathom the greatness of the foremost of them, Sri Radha. But it cannot be said that he has fully fathomed it. It cannot be said that he has fully understood it after becoming Gora. Even the Supreme Lord himself could not find the limits to this love. So then he has to swim in Ratakund. He has to come from Shyamakund to Radhakund to experience this. Because it, this is always floating from Radhakund to Shyamakund, never other direction. 
So he has to come to Radakum to experience this. In the feelings of, of Radhika. No? Right, Kishori? Yes, it will come in the next sentence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on. Gorging, gorging. What is this word? So Maybe Nikki, something like realizing it, gorging, going deep, diving. Uh, he goes on gorging and relishing it forever. Hence, Gora Lila is also eternal. Sri Gora Sundar kept Radha's mood in the heart and showed the world that such love cannot be found anywhere else. Still, I did not understand and I am deprived of this great gift once more. Sri Swaminiji is the embodiment of Prema. And if I could surrender to her lotus feet, I would be fulfilled. From the viewpoint of Tattva, it can also be understood that the Shakti Man possessor of the energy is fully controlled by the Shakti, the energy. <laughs> Radha is the full energy and Krishna is the full possessor of that energy. There's no difference between the two that is proven by the scriptures. In any case, Krishna is fully under the control of Sri Radha, the personification of complete <laughs> love. How eager she is to serve Shama Sundar. Although she has hundreds and hundreds of sakis and manjaris, Ullasavati, blissful Radhika, personally serves him. Whatever she cooks tastes like nectar. Because of the boon bestowed upon her by Durvasa Muni. <coughs> One day, Mother 
Kirtida had invited Nanda and Yashoda with their family to enjoy the nectarian food cooked by Sri Radhika. After Mother Yashoda had enjoyed these dishes and after she had seen how much her Gopal liked to eat them, she said, From today on, my Krishna will not be happy by eating anything else but the dishes prepared by your daughter. <laughs> From that day on, Vrishabhanu Nandini daily goes to Nandishwara, King Nanda's abode, to cook for Krishna with her sakis. The loving devotee is only happy when the object of his service is happy and he does not like to leave this duty to others. Although Mother Yashoda has hundreds of maidservants, she personally churns curd for Krishna, and King Nanda personally milks the cows. Although there are hundreds of cowherd men who can do that. Swamini stumbles on the way out of ecstasy. Since she will personally cook for Krishna. Although she also has thousands of sakis and manjaris who could do it. Swamini walks down the road with Kundalata, with Lalita and Vishaka on her either side, and so many sakis and manjaris surrounding her. On the way, Swamini makes so many intimate jokes with her friends. Tulsi walks behind her, holding her brittle waist being afraid that it will break. How much loving care this maidservant takes. How much loving feeling of possessiveness she feels. When Srimati becomes tired, on the way, she holds her arm on Sri Rupa Manjari's shoulder. The practicing devotee should think of him or herself walking behind Swamini also, always worrying about her welfare and comfort. We want the vicinity of our Savior.
Vicinity means closeness or what is the right translation? Yes, we want to be close with Shimati Radhika. Shmarana means mental association. This God realized Smarana can only take place in the heart and mind of someone who is free from the faults of attachment and hatred and so on. I, ju <clears throat> I just wanted to say and to to uh, encourage everyone uh, when I read and hear now about the cooking of uh, Swamini, like Kanai, he cooked many times. We cooked together in Dole for hundreds of people. So Niti knows how to cook for hundreds of people. So this is for me and, and Goravani also. He, he, we, we, many times we cooked so many feasts. This cooking process actually is such a fantastic way of feeling the vicinity to Swamini because you realize very fast that you are not the doer, that you are not doing anything. If you think that you are the doer, everything goes wrong. So if you put yourself in the flow, <clears throat> like we had, well, we were cooking seven years for the, for the camp in, in, in Dole in France for 200 people, you know, and we have, have been together in the kitchen, seven, eight people. And it was so even more sometimes, and it was such a wonderful flow. And you can only imagine how wonderful it must be when you are together then and you close your eyes and you imagine that you are actually in the kitchen in, 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 in Nandagaon or Yavat, you know, Varshana. So this is so beautiful. This is such a beautiful seva. Every day you cook and you meditate that you are now together with Radhika and Krishna. If you have the frame of mind, if you're not in a stress, this is a very powerful meditation when you do cooking at your home and you realize the cooking will turn out even better the more you imagine yourself being there. The practicing devotee should think of him or herself Walking behind Swamini also, always worrying about her welfare and comfort. We want the vicinity of our Savior. Smarana means mental association. This God realized Smarana can only take place in the heart and mind of someone who is free from the faults of attachment and hatred and so on. When smarana becomes very intense, this mental association becomes an actual experience. So here we are at the beginning of our class today when Suniti was saying and giving the summary, you know, this is actually now the point where our endeavor merges with the revelation. Now, this is actually now where, where this takes place. <laughs> yes, Kishore Ji. I'm so funny. Will, no, no, sorry. I will just continue. <laughs> No, 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 no,
Ah, uh, Gopinath, you are hiding. No, no, I, I just have the mercy of uh, Kishori that I can uh, be here today. Uh, depends which Kishori we are meditating on. <laughs> Many Kishoris here. No, we were we just had this uh, Lila today that um, Kishori was speaking to Shama uh, that uh, how to make caramel and what's the process of to making caramel. And I just passed by and I was listening to that conversation. I thought that's uh, something she's sharing from Gurudev's class. How to, you know, Be make smaran so, yeah, make it condensed that the smaran becomes a real experience. And I was like, wow, <laughs> such a beautiful sharing Gurudev gave this morning. But actually, it was really about how to make caramel. So, <laughs> so when Kishori was now reading this sentence, I just whispered to her caramel. And so she started to laugh and remember that Leela from this afternoon. So that was only <laughs> the thing. You know, and Gurudev always likes this anecdote. It could have been Gurudev, no? Like Gurudev talks about how to cook the milk, you know, and make it condense, condense. Right, Gurudev? Yeah. We have to boil. And caramel is even next level because you take condensed milk and condense this. <laughs> <laughs> so Burfi, Burfi would be a Shakti then, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Gurudev, how to condense the smaran? We have to live in a smaran. Then what will happen? It will what we do all day, it comes to dream. Mm -hmm. And dream is also coming. Because what we do whole day, mm -hmm. it happens in dream. Mm -hmm. So it is normal, natural. And when dream and asmaran is happening like this, Then it become always condensed. Mm -hmm. Then we want to see the reason. We want to see. We are not satisfied by one place, Baba, right? Mm -hmm. We are not satisfied with the asmaran and dream. We want to see. We want to be with you. But the condense happens when the asmaran and a dream is happening. That is, you see, 24-7 is happening. And how to do it? With all mercy, but is a mental religion. Is a mental religion. Mind has to move in this direction. First thing, my mind is influenced with the false ego. So we do the work for the material thing because we are catch by that. So mind has to bring it. So it's a mental religion. So you see, the Mahajan say that uh, Lila Smaran. Mm. Lila Smaran means one word is this. Is uh, Mansik Seva. Mansik is mind Seva. Many Seva physically we do. And when we do the Mansi Seva, because in Bhajan we can do Mansi Seva with the mind in our Sarupa wish.
So yeah. this is mental association, actually. Yeah. True. Gurudev, you many, many times, <clears throat> Gurudev, you said that it depends on how we do the Smaranam. I remember you said, we, we have to do the Smaranam. We have to do the, the meditation in our Swarupa Vesh. So it, it, is, it is about the identification. The condensed Smaran can only come, you many times said, when we read Baba's explanations and we, when, when we read the Lila pastimes, Lila Smaranam can only happen when we do it, not as the sadaka, but we, when we try to be there in Swarupa Vesh. So I think this is, it helped me very much when you said like this, you can read these books, but you have to read it. Baba also said, you can only read them in Swarupa Vesh. You have to think about when you read it, not as Tarun Govinda does, but in the, in the female, in the, in the manjari form. So then it can come, it can go faster and, and become stronger. I like this very much, Godev. And also, when milk become condensed, my uh, asmaran become condensed with uh, <coughs> uh, in my asmaran and in dream also. Mm. Then it's automatic, our salute will start awakening. Mm -hmm. And then slowly, slowly, we start living in the salute. Then he said, then we become Dhruva Smriti. And Dhruva Smriti, what is Suniti more? Dhyan, Dharana, Dhruva Smriti. Smriti, then comes the Madhi Guru. Then what we do, every stage is a Samadhi stage. Open eyes or close eyes. All is samadhi. Wow, Gurudev, you're giving me a good point because I was reading this morning in uh, Vilapakus Manjali, first 33. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was so amazed because, you know, we are reading, but then again, we are, you know, getting more mercy points. And what you say, this samadhi with the open eyes, Baba is also explaining this. And he says that, uh, wait a minute. That this Varupa Vesh, it also happens in external consciousness. And if yeah. you correct me, Gurudev, I think this is Samadhi. And mm. he says, uh, To be engrossed or deeply in touch with Manjari Bhav and think, I feel that I am actually with her. That will please the heart. And how wonderfully alive or vivid is Sri Raghunath Das Goswami Swarupa Vesh, even when he is in external consciousness. Ah. That is Samadhi, right, Gurudev? Ah. No, no. Again, read. Uh, how wonderfully vivid or alive is Sri Raghunath Das Goswami Swarup Avesh even when he is in external consciousness? <coughs> <laughs> yes, Radhe, this is Samadhi stage of Raghunanda. If you want to read about it more, it's a verse 33. Mm. And I, yeah, it's very connected to verse uh, 59. I suggest uh, only read these books uh, first, not Leela. Read the teaching of Anandas Bhavaj. 
how to get it. There are two types of thing he mentioned. How to go in this bhav, how to develop this bhav. And second, the flow, how it starts coming to you. So how to come reach the flow to start coming. And when it starts coming, then we don't need to stop it. We have to live in the flow and listen. But it's also important that others get benefit to come in the flow. Then you will listener and they will try to develop this realization. Beautifully uh, and that's why you mentioned these details about what is in Naga Bhakti Sadhana, how to do the sadhana and how to move with this to stay in Leela Chintan. And that is Prabhupada writing Bhagavad Gita, page 4, what is the goal, devotional practice is the goal to develop your sarup and sarup siddhi. And that is Sarup Sarup Siddhi. In Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada clear everything. Read Vilakusha and try to understand and read Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada. Then you will see how oh, he gives hint to everyone. That is Parkya Bhav. <laughs> Parkya Bhav, you get the hint and then you have to research it. Nothing is open. Is the open way written, then it is not Parkiya Bhav. So all line is written in Parkiya Bhav. Rasik always writes like this. Our Gaudiya books are in Parkiya Bhav. Why Mahaprabhu recommend Srimad Bhagavat is only a story, different, different story. And this story is like a Bhaktamar. Bhagavat means the Lord and his Bhakta story. So how the Bhakta acts and how he gets the result. Behind this is the deep meaning. So in uh, Radha Sudhanidhi and Bilap Kusumanjali is a PhD. When you realize it and live in this practice, all will become crystal clear. Because a sky bhav has to come. Because you have to be viewer to 
see the doer things. We are not doer, we are viewer. We have to sit one place to see. We cannot jump here and there. We have to sit. You go to the cinema hall and you want to see, you have to sit in one chair. <laughs> Till the picture you want to see, you cannot go to one hall, five uh, theater is there, everywhere different picture, and one hour sit, ten minutes sit there, 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 there. It will not, you will understand anything. You have to sit one place, one chair, and then visualize that. That is our Manjiri Saru. We cannot jump. <laughs> we have to sit in one chair to see the do our actions. Right? You cannot make it more simple to understand, more easy. Yes. Actor knows very nice. <laughs> 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 and the acting is important mm. when we view it depends success in the viewer. Yes. How the viewer likes the <laughs> that is the importance of the actor comes yes. from that. How beautiful relishment is there to the viewer. Mm -hmm. Without the viewer, the actors cannot relish what they are doing. No, actors are relishing to the viewer and actors become more happy. Mm -hmm. uh, my show becomes successful. <laughs> <laughs> I shall be going to <laughs> I'm good at the three D glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> oh. What what say say Gopika? What about the three D glasses? I said that Gurudev's mercy gives Gurudev but his mercy gives the three D glasses to <laughs> <laughs> the vision. Green glasses, not right. Make it moving and make it uh, multi-dimensional. Yes. It may even be more than 3D. <laughs> and I say one experience in my life. <laughs> when this, you become viewer and you, mercy will come, you will not come out from the mere consciousness. Where you will go, only you will see the doer. And your doer is your yesterday. Everywhere you will see the Leela, your doer, in a form of viewer. What is happening? Oh, day to day you will see the as a viewer to that. That is Samadhi stage. Jit dekho tithi shimai where the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu see is Yamuna and Govardhan and everything in Vrindavan. You not see out of the balance. That is the samadhi stage. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Arthur.